Hello everyone and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. I am Dewey bringing you through this wonderful game again and what I have for you today is a little mini event. Uh, it's not, it is a somewhat dynamic event because if you do fail this it does affect the region in certain ways. Uh, what you are doing here is you're pretty much bringing this caravan to uh, a fort and I actually stumble on this halfway through uh, the event as it's taking place and this is actually a common thing that you see scattered throughout Guild Wars 2 and especially in the world v world kind of stuff you'll see a lot of the supply caravans going to a next horde or something and you have to defend this caravan so it, it can have a drastic effect on the area uh, a lot of the people in the game and it's kind of this is the common terminology that is being passed around or at least what I found is it's called defend the beer um, basically because a lot of times they're talking about like oh defend the ale don't let the ale spill and that kind of stuff so it was just kind of something that a lot of people in the beta was calling it defend the beer uh, this is in Godlaw Swamp which is the same area as the Shadow Behemoth if you guys haven't seen any videos on that definitely check that out uh, really really cool event that takes place in this area um, so basically you just have to defend it from any kind of attacking enemies any monsters and that kind of stuff and it's not you know it, it was never overly difficult because as you see here there's probably like a good like 15 people guarding it um, so we never have too much of a problem uh, but it will they will stop it will stop if there are enemies nearby so you want to make sure to clear those out quickly and as you see it's not too big of an issue for us uh, so it's I, I want to know do you guys are you guys interested in a lot of these different kind of events I know I had asked if you guys wanted to see this video in one of my other Guild Wars 2 videos and you guys were fairly excited for it um, so it's not anything super fancy, but it does show off one of the smaller events that can happen in Guild Wars 2. And I really do hope that you guys can enjoy it. I'm just running ahead here a little bit to kill off any enemies in the way of the beer because God forbid that beer gets taken out. Because, you know, it is a life source <laughs> to those soldiers defending the, uh, the fort in the middle of the swamp. I don't know if that's somewhere that I would necessarily enjoy. Um, but this is by the Temple of Ages. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out that video, go check out it. It's really cool. I'm trying to do a bunch of kind of go back to the past, go back to Guild Wars 1, and highlight uh, some of the things that have changed in Guild Wars 2. So I did a Temple of Ages video, uh, Temple of the Ages, uh, if you want to be completely correct. Uh, but it's where I pretty much showed off what Guild Wars 1 was like for Temple of Ages and Temple of Ages and Guild Wars 2. I showed that off as well. So hopefully you guys like all these videos. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, look forward to lots more Guild Wars 2 content to come. Um, sorry for a little bit of slow uploads recently. My computer crashed, but it's fixed now. So uh, expect much more content in the future. Makes a difference. Um, and what, what really makes Guild Wars 2... Um, a top-of-the-line MMO for me. Raymond, we've had a history of golf carts, we'll but, say that. Yeah, that's true. But I know a lot of you guys wanted to see my new place when I moved in, so I'll probably do a vlog uh, when I'm doing that. 